welcome to Germany, where we've come to drive this, the all-new Volkswagen Polo. As you can see, there are more creases in the bonnet and down the side, but it's still unmistakably a Polo. But don't let the subtle styling enhancements fool you. Underneath the skin, it's all new. For a start, it's built on an all-new platform, and the car is actually physically bigger in all the key areas. So you have more room up front, and especially in the rear, whereas the old car was quite tight for knee room. In here, there's now enough space for two adults. The boot's grown too. It's now 351 litres, and as you can see, it's really quite big. Behind the wheel, it's typical VW. In other words, it's typically brilliant. There's a wide range of a seat adjustment and steering wheel adjustment. This steering wheel feels fantastic. It's beautiful quality to it. So the big news is this screen here. It's eight inches wide. It's really sharp and it's really quick to react. One of the better systems we've ever come across, that's for sure. This generation of Polo is only available as a five door. They've done away with the three door because there just wasn't customer demand. It is available with a wide range of engines, including a couple of 1.6 diesels and three three cylinder petrol engines. They're all turbocharged. This is the most powerful one. And this comes with a DSG gearbox. Gives you like performance plus the convenience of an automatic. More than anything, what the Polo does is it majors on refinement. In terms of driving quality, it's pretty much hard to criticize it in any way. It's comfortable, it's quiet, refinement's great, steering's really nicely weighted, both for in-town use and when, the, when speed picks up, it just gives a little bit extra weighting into the system. Performance, well, it is a three-cylinder engine, so it does rev long and hard, and it picks up quite nicely from town speeds. I can tell you also that earlier I drove it on the motorway, it's got more than adequate performance. I don't want to use that expression, but it kind of is all the car you're ever going to need. So, 2017's turned out to be a bit of a bumper year for Super Minis. First, we had the Nissan Micra, then we had the Seat Ibiza. More recently, we've had the Ford Fiesta. But you know what? I think we may have saved the best for last. The VW Polo is a remarkable car. 